the iPhone 14 has got a big problem. The double hole punch is getting bigger, some processors are getting cut, the phones could see some massive delays, and the design probably won't be all that different after all iPhone 14 leaks have really been non-stop lately. There's been some good news, some bad news, a lot of cat fights in the Apple rumor mill, and it's hard to know what to believe and what not to believe. So let me tell you everything we know right now. Here's the good stuff, here's the bad stuff, here are all the major changes coming to the iPhone 14. And also, let me tell you if the iPhone 14 is shaping up to be the best, biggest iPhone upgrade ever, or if it's gonna be a major, major disappointment. Now, spring is usually the time that Apple shows some love to some of their non-iPhone related products. This is when we get some big upgrades to the Mac, we get some iPad Pro upgrades, and we just got the new Mac Studio, the display, new iPad Airs, and lots of new Macs and new iPads are coming right around the corner too. But also, what's happening right now at that spaceship in Cupertino is the iPhone 14 team working furiously to get things done. This phone is going to enter production very soon, and as the iPhone 14 lineup gets closer and closer to its final form, we've got lots of new leaks and rumors that give us a lot of really interesting insights about these phones. The good news, the bad news, a lot of stuff is sort of coming together. And also, Apple might be facing some big new problems with every single iPhone 14 model. Let's start first with the design of the iPhone 14 lineup because this was one of the most critical pieces of info that leaked many months ago that is now a big point of contention and a very controversial subject in the Apple rumor world. At first, we thought the iPhone 14 was going to get a major design overhaul. It was gonna look actually very reminiscent to the iPhone 4. It was gonna have a very uh, industrial boxy design, a glass back, a flush camera system on the back. We were gonna get uh, round volume buttons on the side, sort of a speaker mesh on the bottom. It was a throwback to the iPhone 4, sort of some nice iPhone 4 design, coming to a flagship iPhone in 2022. The renders and concepts made this look amazing, it looked beautiful, and this seemed, like for many months, the design Apple was going to go with. But now we're hearing from multiple sources that the design probably isn't going to look anything like that. According to some new leaked CAD files from multiple sources, the iPhone 14 lineup really isn't going to look all that different from the iPhone 13 or even the iPhone 12. This is a design that's very predictable, not boring, but let's just call it very Apple. It looks like the design isn't actually going to change that much and we're not going to get the flush camera system. We're not gonna get the round volume buttons. Maybe there's something here we're missing, but according to these, again, allegedly CAD files, not a whole lot is actually going to change on the outside of the iPhone 14. Of course, the big change that we do see here, according to these CAD files, is confirmation that yes, on the iPhone 14 Pro and presumably the Pro Max, we are going to get no notch, but instead this double hole punch system that's basically gonna let Face ID work its magic, do its thing, but take up less precious screen real estate than the notch. Now, originally we thought that these two little hole punches were gonna be much smaller, but now, according to some new info, looks like it's actually gonna be much bigger than we originally thought. So you're gonna get a little screen real estate back. It's not gonna take up as much of your screen as the notch, but probably probably is not gonna save you as much as we kind of had hoped for. Now again, you gotta take things with a grain of salt. This is coming from multiple sources, but nothing has obviously been confirmed, so just remember it's a rumor. But on one hand, I could see Apple just sticking with the same design as the iPhone 13 model from last year. Yes, we're gonna get some big under the hood improvements that I'll get to with the processor and the camera and stuff like that. There's still enough here to make this a very worthy upgrade, but the design might not change whether that's on purpose or not. Maybe this is what Apple originally planned. Maybe there were some design issues, some uh, uh, issues with production of that new design for whatever reason. Uh, Apple might just be sticking with the same design as the 13, or at least for the most part, same design as last year's iPhone line. Lineup. But on the other hand, another wild theory here is that maybe Apple is doing more this year. They're going to make a more conscious effort to differentiate the non-pro models from the pro models. And if you do want to step up to the pro model and spend more money, you're going to get the ProMotion display. You're going to get the triple camera setup. You're going to get all the pro camera features. And now maybe you'd get the exclusive new design just on the pro models. I'm not saying it's going to happen or not. Just a theory, just a rumor that maybe this year, if you really want the new design and the latest and greatest, you're going to have to step up to an iPhone 14 Pro or 14 Pro Max. Some more bad news here. If you're a fan of the mini iPhone, maybe you've got a 12 mini and you've been holding out hope for the 14 mini, it's looking less and less likely like it's actually going to happen. We've now heard from multiple sources that Apple is not going to have an iPhone 14 mini this year. They're killing the mini lineup. There's not going to be a mini option anymore. And instead, Apple is going to actually offer a larger version of the iPhone with an iPhone 14 Max. This is going to be a 6.7 inch screen size 
size, it's going to have a really large, beautiful display, but it won't have ProMotion, it's not going to have ProRes video, it's not going to have triple cameras, but also because of that, should not have a Pro price tag, this should be much more uh, affordable, or at least relatively affordable, compared to the Pro Max. So if you want a large screen iPhone, but you don't want to have a Pro Max, this should be a nice way to go, that should really check all the boxes and give you a more affordable iPhone option, um, but if you're a fan of the Mini, sorry to say, probably just not gonna happen this year. Something else we're learning from the rumor mill this year is that Apple is gonna do a lot more to differentiate the pro models from the non-pro models. And by and large, most years, the non-pro models and the pro models of the iPhone are basically the same. Yes, the pro phones have uh, maybe some better specs, slightly better specs, and they have better cameras or more cameras and stuff like that. But this year, there's gonna be a lot more to differentiate these phones beyond just another camera and ProMotion and stuff like that. The iPhone 14 and 14 Max are gonna be great phones, but if you want all the bells and whistles this year, you're gonna have to step up to the 14 Pro and the 14 Pro Max. I think Apple's gonna make three big changes that are only going to come to the higher end Pro models. The first one, of course, like I mentioned earlier, is the notch. If you do not wanna have a notch on your iPhone, you're going to have to go with the 14 Pro or 14 Pro Max. Again, we thought this was gonna reclaim a lot more screen real estate uh, than what it looks like uh, as of right now. So it might not be a huge difference, but if you are not a fan of that notch and you want something different, you're gonna have to spend the money on a Pro phone. I'm also curious if Apple could maybe update the True Depth system this year. Maybe we see Face ID work differently on the pros. Maybe this new sort of double uh, hole punch pill shaped cutout sort of gives you something different. It's unclear right now if Apple's gonna make any changes to the Face ID system, uh, but if you do want at least a different look on the front of your iPhone, you're gonna have to go with the 14 Pro or 14 Pro Max. The regular 14 models are gonna keep basically the exact same notch as what you've got right now on the 13 mini and the iPhone 13. Another big change happening this year with the iPhone 14 has to do with the processor. We're now hearing that Apple is going to do a different processor in the iPhone 14 Pro and Pro Max uh, than what it's gonna be in the lower end iPhones. We're hearing the iPhone 14 models, those regular models, they're gonna stick with the A15 chip. This is still very powerful, it's very efficient. It's the same chip that's in the iPhone 13 and also in the latest gen iPhone SE. It's a great chip that should be more than enough as we head from 2022 into 2023 with the new iPhone 14 models. But on on the higher end, Apple is gonna give their latest and greatest A-series chip to the Pro and iPhone. So this is the A16 that's more powerful, more efficient, that can do more, uh, that is only going to be in the Pro and iPhones this year. Is this a huge deal? Is it a deal breaker by any means? I don't think so, probably not. I'm sure the differences here are noticeable uh, to the pros, but probably not to those using the lower end iPhones anyway. And I really think that those who really push their iPhone to the limits and are using those pro features are probably buying uh, the Pro or Pro Max anyway. So I don't think this is a huge deal. It's not a big controversy, but it is something to be aware of that uh, only the newest uh, pro end iPhones are gonna get Apple's latest and greatest mobile chips. Also, another huge upgrade coming to the iPhone 14 this year, and probably just to the Pro models, is with the camera. Apple is finally going to upgrade the main camera from 12 megapixels, which is what we've had basically for, well, for years and years and years, up to a 48 megapixel main camera. This is gonna use pixel binning technology to give you better photos, presumably better videos, and basically give you a much more versatile camera system on the new Pro and iPhone. Of course, those phones are still gonna have three cameras, you're gonna get that LiDAR sensor, uh, probably no big change to optical zoom this year, that's probably gonna be reserved for the iPhone 15. And also we might be getting maybe 8K video recording on the iPhone 14 Pro. That has been sort of a rumor this year. It has yet to be really corroborated as of late, but that might be coming as a camera upgrade to the iPhone 14 Pro and 14 Pro Max. We're not sure if this change is gonna come to all iPhone 14 models, but I'd expect at least uh, the iPhone 14 and 14 Max to get the same great camera system, maybe some slight improvements and adjustments under the hood, but probably Apple due to chip shortages, part shortages, stuff like that, might reserve their higher end camera setup just exclusively for those Pro phones as is looking to be a theme this year in 2022. Now, with all these rumors and all this stuff to take into account, there's a good question here that many are asking, and that is, could the iPhone 14 be delayed? Is this because of uh, whether it be parts issues or supply chain issues or uh, logistical issues, whatever the case may be, does the iPhone 14 not actually launch on time this fall? Is it delayed a couple of weeks, a couple of months? What's gonna happen with the iPhone 14's launch uh, later on this year? That is a great question and a very valid question. And we have heard sort of rumblings or at least speculation that Apple is sort of starting to feel the pressure when it comes to these supply shortages. That maybe the reason the iPad Air got the M1 was not because it was intended to all along, but because the A15 was gonna be saved for the iPhone 14 and iPhone 14 Max. Also, was the A16 always supposed to be just a pro and iPhone thing? Or was it gonna go on all iPhones? That's again, something that some speculate 
is because of parts issues. So maybe Apple is sort of starting to feel the pressure just a bit and they're sort of trying to uh, change things up behind the scenes to make sure things go out uh, on time as they usually do. And I'd make a guess that things are gonna go uh, as planned this year, that I think we're gonna see the iPhone 14 lineup either in September or October, that I don't think there's gonna be any major delays. Apple is a logistical master. Tim Cook uh, has a lot of credit for being a logistical master himself. And I'm sure that Apple also has a lot of sway with their vendors and suppliers that they're able to do things uh, the way they want to. So I would think that maybe we're gonna see um, some issues with supply chain stuff. Maybe we see some parts only in some phones and not others. But I think by and large, when it comes to the launch, the iPhone 14, hopefully, knock on wood, should launch sometime in September or October uh, later on this year. But as always, guys, I wanna know your thoughts. What are your thoughts on the iPhone 14 as of right now? It's not been a lot of good news lately, especially if you're holding out hope for a new design. What do you think? Do you think the iPhone 14 is gonna get a crazy redesign? Is it not? Are we going to get a new upgraded camera system? Are we gonna get the same old camera? Do you think we could see anything specific just to the pros? Or is Apple gonna make an iPhone 14 mini after all? Let me know your thoughts about all this stuff down below. I'm curious your thoughts on uh, iPhone 14 and also, I guess, the state of Apple as it stands right now in 2022. As always, guys, thank you guys so much for watching this video. I really appreciate it. Thank you so much. I'm Robert Rosenfeld from the Apple Circle, and I will see you all in the next one.